What up, G Life? It's your boy, it's Shadow, back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, check out the playlist, the playlist on top where all my videos in the folder makes the video you're looking for a lot easier. Whether it's just reactions, G series, all of that, they're in the folder. You don't have to keep scrolling. Makes the videos, you know, a lot easier to find. Don't forget to check out my second channel, uh, Man of Society, MOD, where I talk about stuff outside of the streets. Conspiracy, religion, history, anything and everything. And don't forget to tap on the like and the subscribe, bro. It's free. It don't cost anything. Bro, who turns out free stuff? Join the G-Live, bro. You know what I mean? Help a homie out. Now, what I wanted to talk about was one that has been asked for from my channel for a long, long time. Uh, almost since the beginning of my channel, I was I was asked this question. Um, I never answered it though. But um, you know, now you know, you know, we'll we'll dive into it. We'll talk about it. Uh, I know people, you know, I've been curious for a while, and I know the only reason why people are asking this. Look, because I only tell you how it is right here. I'm not here to slander nobody. I'm not here to talk shit about anybody. None of that. You know what I mean? But I could only keep it at 100, dog. I could only give my honest opinions right here and never sugarcoat nothing. Now, when they tell me, what are my thoughts on Mr. D from Southland Records, not the youngster, not the from any locals, the you know, older guy from Southland Records, Mr. D. Um, I was, no, I'm not gonna lie, I was never a fan of his music. Um, you know what I mean? Um, I was not a fan of his music, but the reason why I wouldn't hear Southland uh, was not because of the artists themselves because I never, you know, growing up, I never heard their music. You know what I mean? Um, if I was told that it's Southland or whatever, uh, either it was like change the song or or we're throwing that CD out the window or whatever. Um, but it was because of gang related reasons why um, a lot of the guys from Southland Records were from Pacoima. And obviously, my bar and Pacoimas don't get along. You know what I mean? Um, you, you get what I'm saying? So, I didn't, I didn't mess with their music, not because of like, the, you know, the, because I didn't like the songs or whatever. I just didn't mess with them because they were from the rivals and that was just the way it was. Right. Um, or why would any homies own those albums or even buy those albums? They didn't. The only reason why I had uh, known about Southland or even heard uh, the Rolas growing up, whatever, is because my stepdad is from Pacoima. Uh, I already talked about this story or whatever and, and in a separate video, but my stepdad's from Pacoima, you know, uh, very respected, active, you know, member out of Pacoima. Uh, but, but our relationship was rocky, obviously, but nonetheless, you know, he was still my stepdad and I was still his, you know, stepson or whatever. Um, so his homies would come around, you know, and they had that mutual respect for him. So, you know, I knew some of them guys growing up and stuff like that. Some of them were actually pretty cool. And then others, you know, well, it is what it is. You know, we, we catch each other outside in the streets and catch the fade. But while I was in the house, we had to keep it, you know, you know, for the respect or whatever. Um, so, you know, he would bump, obviously, you know, their music or whatever. So I would hear them, guys. Uh, I actually got to meet one of them as well because he was my stepdad's homie, which was Sleepy Malo. He was actually talented. Sleepy Malo was actually talented. He was legit, you know. Sleepy Malo definitely had skills in rapping. Now, I didn't find out until later on that I don't think Mr. D was from Pacoima. I think he's from Canoga or he's from the Canoga area. I don't think he was like from an actual barrio. Uh, don't quote me on that because I'm not too sure. As far as I, I think I remember, I was I was told that at least, you know what I mean? From, you know, homies from, you know, from Pacoima or whatever. Um, but so some of them guys had talent, you know what I mean? I was just being a knucklehead youngster, you know what I mean? That's why I, did, I just wouldn't give them a time of day. But, you know, the guy that goes had talent, you know, Sleepy Malo had talent. Uh, now, you know, you know, older and, you know, you know, you know, we've been around and stuff like that. You know, we know what it is. You know, I just, you know, look, look at it for what it is. And it's like, yeah, that vato's got talent. You know what I mean? Now, as for Mr. D himself, I never liked his music. Um, not because I'm a hater. Oh, this vato's hating on him. The reason I personally didn't like Mr. D's music is because uh, he didn't keep up with the beat. In my opinion, you know, he would go off beat, and, um, and so I would find a hard time, you know, like feeling feeling his music, feeling the rhythm because his verses weren't going with the beat. So it's like I didn't know what to bow my head to. You get what I mean? But I'm not gonna come on here and say, "Sabes qué, Mr. D is fucking whack. Mr. D is trash. Mr. D doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Mr. D is not." You wanna know why I won't do that? One, he's successful. Do you not see? You know his. You know, he has, you know, he has success. People can't say that that was not successful, bro. 
he has success. Regardless if it's, oh, he has success because of his rappers, you know, like Sleepy Mono and stuff like that. Okay, fine. You know, you could say that. But at the same time, he's the one that was putting everything together. You know, he was the, I guess he was the brains of the operation, pues. You know, Tupac was the, Tupac was the one spinning it for whatever, but Suge Knight was the one making it happen. You know what I mean? I know Suge Knight didn't get on a, actually, there is a track where Suge Knight tried to rap. There's actually several of them. Uh, for those, you know, who are curious, and yeah, he wasn't good, but he was not a rapper, but anywho, you know, Mr. D, you know, wanted to, you know, throw himself out there, you know what I mean, it was his, it's his label, and he could run it however the fuck he wants, you know what I mean, someone getting shit together and stuff like that, so people can't say, hey, well, you know what I mean, and people can't say that it wasn't working out for him, or, 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 or it was whatever, because look at the success that he has had, you know what I mean, how am I going to say that this vatos, you know, whatever, whatever, when his success is saying otherwise? I'm not the one that's sitting right there with, with the plaques and the, hey, I got a Japan and <laughs> you get what I mean? Um, so obviously he was doing something, right? Me personally, I just did it. I wasn't able to bump his music because he wasn't going with the beat. And that's just 100. Uh, but I, but he has the mind, he has the business mind for the music, you know. He knows how to get shit together. He knows how to make it happen, homie. You get what I mean? Now, it's about him in the streets and stuff like that. But I haven't heard nothing bad about him. I heard, you know, that Tabato, you know, handles his business. And as far as I know, I, I don't know about him, you know, anything. You know, if there is some stuff out there, but I personally don't know of any. You know, I haven't heard nothing. You know what I mean? Um, but like I said, I don't know the individual. But I personally haven't heard nothing. And I've heard he handles, he handles his business. Because, you know, I, I from the guys from Puerma that I have, you know, talked to, they, you know, they, they say that homie's with the business and he's righteous, man. You know what I mean? Take the word for it. They're from the street, so... You get what I mean? So, you know... And for those who don't know, you know, he, he he's the uh, one that, you know, created the Southland Records. Um, you know, um, he has he has several artists under his, you know, his his camp, you know. Uh, Spanky, uh, Ghost, uh, Sleepy Malo. He had a, a Spanish Fly... He had a lot of people under his label. That, that fucking group was huge. Southland used to roll deep. You know, Pinches albums used to have like fucking like 50 vatos in them. <laughs> you know? Um, you know, they had a rola like, like Gangsters Get Lonely too. It's probably the most recognizable rola uh, that I could probably say that people would know, you know, um, uh, of theirs or whatever. Sleeping Model since then has, you know, his career has been successful. He's done music with Squeak Roo, Ice Cube, you know, and rappers like that. So, you know what I mean? Um, for the haters that say that 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 Chicano rappers when they would do music with with big names like yeah uh huh fucking haters nah but Mr D you know he he has had you know success in his career uh, regardless if 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 I think that he has rapping skills or, or not you know what I mean uh, me personally like I said uh, he doesn't go with the B you know I I just don't I just don't dig that kind of style. That's just my preference, you know what I mean? Like that, I, there's just a certain way that I like music, and, and that's just not the way. But I'm not gonna come on here and talk shit on him like if I'm a fucking 12 year old. What do I get out of coming on here and being like that? About those trap fuck that one, yeah, he's garbage. Because I know that that's what people want to hear me say, and that's the reason why they they were asking about this video. It's like, bro, I'm not a fucking little kid to be disrespecting another man. What am I gonna get out of that, bro? Or why do you want to hear that? You know what I mean? Like, why do people get a kick out of that? I don't, I don't understand. Like, hearing another man talk shit about another man, you, you, that, that's what you find interesting? Fuck you, people, dude. Anywho, um, so uh, overall, um, I know I'm never fun huh, with these things. Like, I can only be 100, bro. Spansa. Huh? Um, but yeah, overall, you know, um, I, I just wasn't feeling it. It wasn't for me, you know what I mean? Um, but I know that, obviously, there's, there's a fan base for it, you know what I mean? Um... You know, I just prefer more, like, you know, lyrical fools or going to be... See, people like music, you know, for certain individuals, because people could be like, man, these fools don't go with the beat or they can't even rap. Why do people still, you know, fuck with the music? People tend to just like and hear songs just because it mentions a city they live in or a street that they live in or an area that they come from, you know, because everybody's proud of the area they come from, the city or... Or, or whatever, where they're from, you know what I mean? Not, like, literally gangbanging-wise, but I mean, like, in general, like, people are proud of where they're from. So when they hear it on a track or see it in a cameo in a movie, whatever, instantly it becomes a classic or, or one of their best jams or, or something that they want to talk about and shit like that because it, you know, talks about their area. It's relevant to them, you know, they can, they can relate. 
Uh, it's what made Tupac and Easy very successful. Nowadays, these rappers, people can't relate with these rappers. That's why they're one hit wonders, or or or, or they blow up fast and then they fade away because people just can't relate to them. They can't relate to throwing money like that and laughing to other people and do that. While Easy and Tupac are over here talking about rolling in their buckets, drinking out of a brown paper bag, shit that people were able to relate to. That's why their music is classics to this day. You know what I mean? Because people could relate to how they, you know, how they were growing up and what they're talking about in their music. That's why they could still fuck with their music now compared to it. Uh, back then, Cash Money was doing big things. You know what I mean? And, you know, rolling around my city when I'm in bling bling or whatever the hell. Um, and then that those times, those songs were were classics or whatever. Ah, that's just jingon. Now people bump those songs and it's like, ah, damn, what the hell was I thinking? This is wack. You don't hear nobody fuck with that music. Yeah, when when you hear gin and juice or, or you know, it ain't no fun. You see, motherfucker, hell yeah. <laughs> and it's 2022. You know, but if you bump some shit, some fucking, you know, take your shirt off, spin it like a helicopter, whatever the fucking songs were back then, or let me see that thong, ah, pinche rola, digo su puta madre. <laughs> People ain't fucking with that shit now. Can't relate to none of that fucking garbage. Anywho. So... That's the reason why, you know, a lot of people could mess with the, you know, people's music because they could relate to it, you know. Um, it's relatable, you know. Doesn't mean that it, it's good or whatever. Um, and he has a big collection of music, you know. And he's had, you know, shitload of CDs, bro, under his belt. You know what I mean? Like I said, so people could dislike him, could hate on him, could say what they want. Bro, but look at his success, bro. That shit doesn't lie. I mean, he's not making up all those fucking, he's not making up all that success, bro. I mean, as far as that, the motherfucker ain't living in no apartment or nothing like that. Like, the motherfucker had success, though. So, who am I to say that that shit's not working for him or or, 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 or don't quit your day job or whatever? The fuck he shouldn't. I mean, I mean, you know, like, look at him. He had success, bro. What you talking about? Yeah, like I said, um, I don't think, you know, I don't think he's, um, he's like a rapper like that. In my, I think he's more of the business sense of it. But if he want, like I said, it's his label. If he wants to rap, then who, then who's to tell him that he can rap to it? You know what I mean? Uh, anybody could rap. You know what I mean? Um, you know, even if they even if they don't know how to rap, I mean, if that's your label, if you have the equipment and stuff like that, then who's to tell you not to do it? You can do whatever the hell you want on this world. Um, you know, I think it would have been better if he would have like practiced on, you know, on keeping him with the beat and just perfected his craft. Um, you know, I think he would have maybe had more success. You know, but I mean, if he's just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna spit what I spit in, chinga su madre, then, you know, and if it worked for him, then it worked for him. I mean, <laughs> but overall, in my opinion, um, I just wasn't feeling it. It just wasn't for me. You know what I mean? Um, I just prefer my rap a different type of way. Um, but that's just my preference. But what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Do you know who I'm talking about? You know, did you bump his music? Is there songs that you like? What songs do you, you know, maybe you recommend for me to scope out? Like I said, I wouldn't really hear a lot of it because, like I said, they're from they're from the rival. So I ain't going to really be bumping that shit either way. I mean, I'll hear it out, you know, if somebody's playing it or whatever. But as in, like, you know, like, like me, like, be rolling and cruising and bumping it. Nah, hell no. <laughs> no disrespects to, you know, the city and all that shit. You know what I mean? I'm talking about, you know. You know, mom, fool know what I'm talking about, dog. It's like if I make a roll up on my bar, you know these vatos ain't going to be pumping it. You know the vatos are going to be driving around pumping that roll up. <laughs> It'd be 100, dog. But no disrespect to the city. Shout out to all my valleros, a you know what I mean? Um, but I'm just being honest. I'm just being 100 on how, on how the mentality was, on how I seen it, and how it was. You know what I mean? I ain't going to sugarcoat it. Um, but yeah, you know, go ahead and leave it in the comments. of What, what are you guys' opinion? Shout out, we out.